ensure that all the necessary tools are at hand. See also the data sheet in procedure 905-3. To gain access to the main bearing and to allow the mounting of the crankshaft lifting tool, turn the crank throw towards the exhaust side of the engine. The nuts may be self-locking or provided with a special locking device. Be careful when using this feeler gauge, as in certain circumstances it can scratch the bearing metal. Take special care that no damage occurs to the bearing shells while they are being removed. It is important that the location of the markings on the bearing shells be noted, 
so that the shells can be reinstalled in the correct position. Replace the snap-on connectors of the hydraulic jacks with angular snap-on connectors. Check the lift of the crankshaft with two dial gauges. Check that the side clearances are sufficient to allow the free movement of the bottom shell during its dismantling. To extract the bottom shell, mount two special silk wires on opposite sides of the shell. Pull on one wire to roll the shell out and on the other wire to steady the shell. If the bearing shell meets resistance while it is being rolled out, roll it slightly back by pulling on the other wire. It is important that the location of the markings on the bearing shells be noted so that the shells can be reinstalled in the correct position. <laughs> 